the crew reported environmental conditions favoring maximum efficiency and comfort. Aerodynamically, its delta wing configuration proved the B-58 to have particular, even unique adaptability for high-speed, low-level operations. On these flights, the structure of the B-58 endured a wide variety of temperature and wind conditions over differing terrains. For a more intimate picture of these plus factors in the B-58, let's follow flight number three, the longest of the series, which took place on September 18th. This flight went from Carswell to Edwards Air Force Base, California, then to a point over the mountains near Vandenberg Air Force Base, where the airplane started back across the San Joaquin Valley. This portion of the flight was made entirely at low altitude and amounted to two hours elapsed time. Shortly after taking up its westerly course, the airplane reached its assigned speed of 610 knots, or better than 700 miles per hour, for the 1,217 nautical miles of the outward leg. The main objectives of the flight were twofold. First, to evaluate the ability of a crew to fly for long distances at low altitude and high speed. Second, to obtain data for verification of predictions on performance, especially as to range and speed. Fully briefed as to the test plane's course and time of arrival, Convair camera crews were placed at selected positions on a West Texas lake. The total result was 10 seconds of film, or a couple of blinks of the human eye. 